A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, Incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause, no remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you, they do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished you cruelly. Why cry out over your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob, his dwellings I will pity. City shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many. They will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me? says the Lord. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those doomed to die. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They do not wash their hands when they eat a meal. He summoned the crowd and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what enters one's mouth that defiles the man, but what comes out of the mouth is what defiles one. Then his disciples approached and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? He said in reply, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. If a blind man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> 